I know that black shoes are probably the most um, practical, but my closet is not practical, so we're not even going to base it off of that. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting shoe video to do for you guys and I'm going to go through and clear out my shoe collection. I have way too many shoes right now. I think over a hundred, probably definitely over a hundred. And the reason why I have so many shoes, of course, is because I'm a fashion blogger and YouTube influencer and it's almost like my tools for my job. So that is the reason and I don't think I would have this many shoes if I wasn't a fashion blogger. So just getting that out of the way before we get right into it and let's start. So first I'm going to grab all the heels from in my closet. You can see I've already grabbed quite a bit from there and down here as well. So I'm just going to start with wedges and show you guys those. And these ones are brand new. I just got them in my Amazon haul and they are absolutely gorgeous. They're the perfect color of pink and they have these lace-ups which are very comfortable and stay really well and I'm definitely keeping them. This is another newish pair of wedges that I got for this summer. They've got this kind of elastic strap here and they are pretty much all white with a little bit of brown and they're a nice low wedge. So they're so casual and comfortable and I'm definitely keeping these ones. So these wedges here I got from Lux to Kill and I love their shoes so much. And these ones are like a really soft suede all through the wedge, but they are quite high. And I'm not sure I'm in love with like the more purpley tone to this pink. They looked a lot more pinky pink online, which is why I initially got them. So I think because I have the other two pairs of wedges that I love, I'm going to let these ones go. But they are so cute. I just, I really need to minimize. These ones here are quite chunky and kind of a heavy shoe. They're very soft and nice material, but I don't think that they're very me anymore and I'm gonna get rid of these ones. This is a pair of heels that I got from Call It Spring and it was their Disney collaboration. I'm not sure exactly what is Disney about this, um, but they are very cute and lace up. And I think that they're a really nice neutral and I love the little wavy um, strap across the toe here. So I think I will keep these. These are from a shoe company called Passion and it's spelled like fashion, so that's clever. And these are really cool because the heels come off and they turn into flats. Um, but I'll just show you how the heel comes off because it's quite nifty and then it turns into like little flats. But I'm definitely gonna keep these because it's a really nice thing to have in your closet for events and they're very versatile and comfortable, I think. So these are staying in my closet. So I did a little bit of perusing and I found a pretty similar couple pairs here. They're both like a medium brown with chunky heels um, and they are different in some ways. Like this one has a shorter heel and this one has a higher heel but these ones I like more because they're a little bit more high-end feeling, but these ones have a shorter heel, so that means they're more comfortable and wearable. So I went into this thinking I was gonna get rid of one, but I think maybe I'm changing my mind. I think I'm gonna keep both of these. Okay, so here is a new pair of shoes that I think I could stand to get rid of or possibly alter because the lace-ups on these are so long. But other than that, I really like that they're chunky heels and that they're a nice neutral tone. So I'm going to try them on and see what I think of the color of them against my skin. So these ones are going to go into the workshop. So these are a pair of Steve Madden heels in the color blush and they were one of the first fashion purchases that I bought on my own before getting sponsored and all that stuff. So these ones hold a lot of memories for me and I still had good taste even back then 
and with all the changing of my styles and having my favorite color of pink change like 10 different times, I still love these ones. So I'm definitely keeping these ones. Next I have these very diamond sparkly encrusted heels and I love that they're this like nice suede nude color. Um, but the part I don't love about it is this like PVC kind of little toe strap here. But maybe I'll put these ones in like a um, to be determined pile um, for the end and see how much I've gotten rid of. So next I have these baby pink heels with um, this diamond strap here. I haven't really worn these much other than in photos, um, but they are so cute and a very nice color of pink. So I'm going to keep these ones for mostly display um, because I know that there's still going to be a few of those. So right off the bat with these ones, I'm just not getting like any me vibes from them. It's not very like soft or feminine. It's very like edgy. So with like the pointed open toe and everything, and even though they're in a gorgeous nude color, I think that they're just not me and I'm going to get rid of these because I'd wear other things over them. So next are these little pink sandals that I got from JJ's house and I think that they are so cute and this is like a lot like stuff that I will wear right now just because the heel is very wearable. Um, so I think I'm going to keep this one in my closet a little longer to give it a chance to be worn because I haven't worn these yet. I just need to like make an outfit with them. So I'm going to keep these ones. Next up are these little crushed velvet pink heels and I'm definitely moving away from crushed velvet heels right now. Um, it was like a huge thing for a little bit, but now I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm going to try these ones on before making a decision. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep them because um, they do look very good on. I have another velvet pair of heels here that I got from Forever 21 and I really like how low the heel is on these kind of stiletto style ones because they're so much more wearable. Um, but I switched out the ribbon on this one to this cute pink bow. It used to be black and after making that switch I loved them so much more and I'm going to keep these ones because I think that the velvet really works for them. These ones I got from FSJ Shoes and they were a custom pair of shoes. So they made them for me off of a photo I gave them. And of course I made them after the Valentino Rock Stud heels. They are a little bit small actually. I gave them all my measurements and everything and they are still a little bit small on the strap here. But the foot part is good so I think I might keep them because they are very very cute and elegant looking. So I got really into baby blue for a little while and got these baby blue pumps from Lux to Kill and they are very cute and very brand new um, but I'm just not feeling the baby blue anymore even though they are so adorable on camera but in real life I'm just like I could let go of these. <sighs> they look so cute on camera <laughs> but I think I'll probably just have to stick to my feeling in real life and get rid of these ones. Moving on to another pair of baby blue heels are these little kind of chunky sandals. And I really, really like these ones actually. I love the braided um, lace-ups. The only thing, again, I'm not in love with was this little trend that happened here with the clear plastic. But these ones I think are a nice little baby blue pair of heels to have in my closet in case I do ever feel the need to have a baby blue shoe. Okay, so I'm looking and I'm finding that I have a lot of little chunky white heels. So I just kind of want to compare them all and see back to back which ones I like best. So these little sandals I wore all throughout New York City, meaning that they are very comfortable. And I also really like wearing them with simple little pink dresses and play suits because it kind of spices up the outfit a little bit. So even though they look kind of dated, I'm going to keep them. This pair here is a white chunky heel that I've worn the crap out of, and I got these from Public Desire. I have these little supports in them right now just to hold up the strap. 
so that's not part of the shoe this is what they actually look like and i love these ones so much so these ones were also from jj's house and i really love the super thin straps on these ones it makes it very delicate and dainty and i'm not a huge crazy fan about this like side line detail but i do really love the look of these when they're on i know that for a fact so i think i'm going to keep these as well these ones i just must keep they are the cutest little white chunky heels and i was so excited whenever i got these i think these and my white croc ones are my top favorite of my white chunky heels but let's take a look at the rest these ones are still practically brand new, like many of my shoes, I will admit, but I just really expected myself to wear these ones when I bought them, and I feel like they are just really classy, but I'm realizing that they do cover a lot of the foot and can kind of shorten the leg a little bit, um, so maybe that's just why I haven't fallen in love with these with outfits. I know I have tried them on with outfits and ended up wearing a different pair of shoes, instead so that might be a bit of a sign so i'm gonna put them in my maybe pile and come back to these and i might be getting rid of them so i feel like these ones look not as cute off of the foot but once they're on they're actually so comfortable and look really cute so the next pair are actually these ones here since i'm doing the white chunky mini heels so these are one of my favorites for sure and i actually got the last pair of heels from jj's house to replicate these ones whenever these ones were out of stock and i couldn't get them and i wanted them so bad so i got the other ones and these are the real deal here what i was really wanting so honestly maybe i should get rid of the other ones just because i have the ones that i absolutely need in my life so i'm going to put these into the maybe pile just because these ones are possibly just a better version of them so i actually just spotted a pair of heels that were on my main shoe rack here that i might be getting rid of it's these ones here from jessica berman and they're made to be like a designer dupe but there's something about them that is just kind of really cheap looking and also they're very uncomfortable so i would never actually wear them um, these are strictly photo shoes but i don't like the way these look on display and usually photo shoes look really good on display so i think these ones i'm going to be getting rid of even though they're very cute and very good dupes i just think that i don't have a use for them anymore i know i totally lied in the beginning and said i was going to do the main shoe rack last but it just kind of happened so now i'm going to start showing you my favorites from this rack because i'm getting too excited so this is one of my newest favorite pair of little chunky heels and they're these pink suede kind of crisscross heels i got them from my amazon haul and they are just my favorite and i'm so definitely keeping them i got these ones from lulu's and i absolutely cherish them and i wish i could wear them even more but they have this little padded section right here that makes them so comfortable and there's just such a nice little simple elegant design in the front and these ones are definitely a favorite pair of pink heels of mine these ones i got from tony bianco i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right i just love wearing these ones because i can wear them a lot more often than i can a four inch heel or anything like that because People will definitely stare at me because I'm already five foot seven, and I don't really need much more height on me. So these ones are so perfect to get that like high heel elegant look, but not be the tower in the room. <laughs> and I have these pink suede diamond heels that are very glitzy and glam. It's very cute and I love the color. These ones are just the most basic white pair of sandal heels. And I have these through them. This is not part of the heel, but they're just very simple and very cute and comfortable. And these are a basic. These ones I've gone back and forth on with the whole PVC thing, but it's not yellowing at all yet. And they do look pretty cute on. So I keep on keeping these and I think I'm going to keep them again. <laughs> and then I have these two pairs of pink stilettos one is from house of cb and the other one is from jj's house 
lots of houses um, but as you can see one of them is a lower heel so it's much more wearable for me um, than these ones but these are just so stunning I can't possibly bring myself to get rid of them and they have the amazing little logo on the bottom and I'm keeping both of them. <laughs> These ones are a little bit dirty right now, so I apologize for that, but I do wear these, that is proof, and I like the little design that it has here across the foot. I think it's really pretty and simple, and these ones I also got from JJ's house. And these ones are so totally one of my favorites. They are these pink ruffle heels, and I got rid of another pair of pink ruffle heels because I had two and narrowed it down to this one only. The other ones were like a little bit of a brighter pink and I honestly think I have them downstairs. Um, so they're on my Poshmark still if you guys want a pair of pink ruffle heels that are very similar. But these ones I'm definitely keeping because I finally narrowed down to just my one favorite pair. And then these ones are this pink lace heel that I think is so classy and really sexy. So I am going to keep these as well. These little pink heels I got from Miss Pep and I collaborated with them quite a while ago and was obsessed with these heels at the time. And I still really love the color, but I'm wondering if I have some things that might be even better versions of this and maybe a little bit more like refined and high quality looking. I just feel like <laughs> I should get rid of them even though it pains me so because I loved these so much whenever I first got them. I do think that I have other things I'd wear instead of them. So with a heavy heart, I think I'll be getting rid of these ones. I also have a few pairs of black heels that I'm definitely going to be doing some narrowing down on because I don't hardly ever wear black shoes, even though I know that black shoes are probably the most um, practical, but <laughs> My closet is not practical, so we're not even going to base it off of that. So these ones I got from Michael Kors from my boyfriend as a gift, and they have this little soft fur poof on the front, which is very luxury looking, and they are actually very comfortable, and I think that I would actually wear these someday, so I'm going to keep them. So these ones are definitely a basic, and I feel like I just want to keep a black pair of stilettos in my closet, and I have other black heels to go through later, but I just have these two from this closet section, so I think I'm gonna be keeping both of them. These ones I bought with my own money from Public Desire, and I don't always shop from their store because I don't love all their shoes, but these ones I thought were just the most amazing pair of little boot heels ever. And the heel is quite out there for me, it's very, like edgy, but I feel like with all the other details, I just get so excited about this shoe and wearing it this fall, and I am going to keep this one. Next up are these little heels, and I feel very indifferent about them whenever I'm just looking at them here, because part of me thinks that this is like a really cute color, and then the other half of myself thinks it's like a really drab color, but I think whenever I see it, in my shoe closet, it still sparks joy. So because the joy sparking is still there, I think I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> oh, I should be making more progress. So these heels are so incredibly comfortable, but I feel like for me, I'm realizing that I have other heels that might be a little bit more refined than these. It's just not really my style anymore, I don't think. So I think I will be getting these ones out of my closet. These ones are very simple, but I feel like a good little pair of nude heels that are wearable like this are really good. So I'm going to keep these and try them out for a little longer. I only have a few platforms in my shoe closet, but these are one of my favorites. They are so comfortable. They do make me feel like a tower, but they're just so worth it. I really really love these for like little summer outfits and like whenever I'm just feeling like an extra fashionista. So these ones are honestly just for display. I think they are so pretty and I think it's so cool to own a pair of pink satin heels and I just have to keep these. They're just so pretty on display. 
These ones here I think are so cool and I love the idea of having like a floral print on a shoe and they're really cool and unique but I haven't worn them yet and I've had them for quite some time. I feel like maybe if they were like an open toe shoe I would like them a little bit more because they are like a summer style. So I'm pretty not sure what to do with these and I'm gonna put them in my undecided pile for now. So these heels are very cute and very extra because of the feathers on them. It's very like Great Gatsby and I think they're so cute. I don't think I'll be like wearing them in the next month or anything, but I think that they're going to be staying in my closet. These ones look just like my Steve Madden ones, but like literally a less good version. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these ones because I already have them. Up next are these little clear heels here and I feel like they're very Kim K, like she definitely started this whole um, clear PVC kind of trend and I feel like the clear heel is just kind of going out along with the PVC kind of stuff. So I think I'm gonna have other nude heels taking the place of these and I'm going to get rid of these. These heels here are probably something like what I would wear in place of those and I really really like them and they're very comfortable. They're just like a very simple little nude colored heel and there's not much more to say about it other than they're perfect for pretty much going with anything. So I'm definitely keeping these. I keep forgetting to say the brands. So the last pair was from Shein and these heels here I got from JJ's house and they're almost so short that I could barely call them heels, but it makes them very comfortable and they have all these lace-ups. So I usually just wrap it around the same part of my ankle a bunch of times because I don't like it when it goes all the way up the leg or anything like that. But I think that they're really cute and they look good on and go with a lot. So I'm gonna keep these ones as well. So I have this little pair of super nice light kind of neutral colored heels and I really love these. They fit really nicely and I could definitely see myself using these for an event or with a dress because they're like a good height. I almost called it length. <laughs> length. But they are very nice and I've actually had them for quite some time and they've made it through many shoe cleanouts and they are going to make it through another. So next I have these three different shades of neutral pumps. And I really love having all three of them, that way I could match perfectly to an outfit and it also looks quite lovely on the shelf. So I'm gonna keep each one of these and yeah. <laughs> Next I have these little lavender lace-up heels and I think that they might have been a little tiny bit too small on me but I'll have to try them on again and see. But I think, I don't know if I even need another pair of lace-up heels like this that's lavender because I already had that other lavender pair that I kept. I'm not sure whether I love them or not, so these are going in the maybe pile. These ones are the same style as the nude ones that I got rid of earlier, um, and they're kind of in this like lilac purple color of the wedges that I got rid of earlier, so I think that these are a mixture of all the things I'm getting rid of today and I'm getting rid of them. These are the epitome of a display shoe. They are so gorgeous and I got them from Ego and I spent my own money on these ones because I was just obsessed and I still love them for display. These ones I'm also going to keep I think because they're a nice light gray and they're also very wearable in the heel height so I'm going to keep these ones as well. These little ruffle heels here I think are really adorable, but I don't really love purple shoes. I I know why I got them in the first place because they're adorable, but I just don't think I'm gonna wear them over some of my other heels. So I'm gonna get rid of these ones. I almost forgot about these heels and they are so cute with this little ruffle detail across the front. And I honestly wouldn't want them in any other color also. They're so cute in black. I think I got them from Boohoo as well. Definitely keeping them. These ones are quite pointy and fancy, but I don't know if I 
I'm totally vibing with them anymore. I do love the little cross detail that happens in the front, but after those ruffle ones, I'm kind of thinking I would definitely wear the ruffle heels instead of these. So I think that I'm gonna get rid of these ones. These little bow ones here I also had in white and I love them in both colors. So I am also going to keep these little bow ones. And these ones here, I absolutely wore the life out of whenever I was working at Victoria's Secret. So a lot of parts of them are falling apart. And at this point with the amount of shoes that I have, I think if anything is falling apart on my shoes, I should get rid of them. So that is what I'm gonna do with these. And I'm gonna thank them for all the good use that I got out of them. These are diamond encrusted on the back, not real diamonds, but they're very cool and I got them from Quiz Clothing, I believe. But I don't love the PVC on the front, so I just, I don't see myself ever wearing these and I'm going to get rid of these ones. These are fabulous basics and they're just black suede chunky heels. I think I got these from Boohoo or something like that. So these ones I'm definitely keeping. They're just such a good basic. So these are another pair of display shoes, but something that just occurred to me is I don't usually put my darker colors out on display because they kind of ruin my whole light aesthetic. So if these are only display shoes and they're black, then I'm not sure why I really need to have these ones. So I guess I will be getting rid of these ones as well, which is kind of hard, but I never really wear them anyway. Okay, so that is heels and I'm gonna do boots as well. And I'm gonna show you what I've gotten rid of of my heels so far. And I think today I'm gonna be skipping things like flats and sneakers and just kind of focus on the shoes that I wear a little bit less because I do wear my flats and sneakers all the time. So starting on boots, I have these pink suede heels. I think that the color of pink is so pretty. And even though I've had these for quite a while, I think I'm gonna keep these ones because I really like them. These pink velvet booties are such a cool piece, but I just couldn't picture myself actually going out in them and wearing them they're just not quite there for me and even though they're so cool i think i'm gonna get rid of these ones these two are both the kind of velvet that i love having on my shoes and i am going to keep both of these i think they're both so pretty and i really really love them so these shoes i was absolutely obsessed with whenever i first got them and I believe they were from Zara, um, but they are so cute still to me, but I really don't think I should be wearing anything like this. This is just not super duper classy, and I feel like it's just not the direction I am going with my style. So I really wanna keep these, but I think I'm gonna get rid of them. So these little booties I got from Revolve, and they're by the brand Ray, and they're a really nice kind of taupe croc material and they look really nice and mature and very good for fall so i'm going to keep these ones so these booties are quite high and they're also a very patterny pattern um but these heels ryan picked out for me in my revolve video where he picked out all my stuff for me and i'm sure he'd be sad if i got rid of them so these are going in the maybe pile these booties here I got from Toby, um, or Shop Toby, um, and they're definitely a different color than I'm used to, but it's just pushing the envelope a little bit enough for me that I think it would be something good to keep in my closet, and they are really nice, and I'm going to keep them. I like them. Next up are these little sock booties, and they're pretty much the only pair of like true nude booties in my closet right now which I kind of want to replace them actually I think because I'm kind of over the sock shoe trend but I do need a pair of nude boots to replace these I think before I get rid of them. These ones I got from Shein believe it or not and they're like a really really light beige and they're this shiny material and they look really good with some of my fall outfits. 
So these ones I'm going to keep and they're so surprisingly good for Shein actually. Oh my gosh. So I've worn these so much. I've worn them till they're like really creased. Um, but I don't know if they're creased enough to get rid of them yet because I still love them. Um, and I wear them all the time because they're so comfortable. But these are my forever favorite white booties. And I got them from J. Adams. So I'm going to keep these for this fall. So these are my two most used basic pair of black booties. And I think I'm going to keep both of them for different reasons. These ones are a little bit higher and they're suede. And then with these ones, they are just so amazing and they're really good quality. I got these from Michael Kors and I really love them. Although sometimes the zipper falls down while I'm walking, but that's probably my main flaw with these, but I am going to keep these as well. Because I already have those two in my closet, I think I'm going to get rid of these ones. They're just a very extra spiky version of the other ones, so I don't think I'll really be wearing these. So these ones have honestly just snuck by. I've never really worn them um, and I don't really think I probably ever will wear them. They're super cool but they're like extremely high and not really my style anymore I don't think so I think I will be letting these ones go. So I have two pairs of grey booties and neither of them are perfect. Um, these ones are really old and have like wearing on the toe and then these ones are a little bit taller in the heel and they're a little bit bluish but I'll have to put them both in the maybes and decide later I think or I'll ask someone else's opinion because I just don't know what to do with these. The next pair of boots are these white velvet ones which are such a stunner. I really really love these and they have like cactus heels in the back is what I call them but I'm definitely keeping these. I absolutely love them. So now I just have a few pairs of flat boots and these are some of my favorite boots by Sorel and I love wearing these up skiing and whenever we're spending weekends up there and just for winter time in general I am definitely keeping these. These are my iconic pink boots that were my first viral photo on Instagram that a bunch of people reposted and it's probably still all over Pinterest and I just can't get rid of these boots because of how special they are to me even though they're getting pretty worn, but I'm gonna keep these ones as well. These are some ultra chunky pink boots and I feel like they're almost good, but they're just a little too chunky that they're not refined anymore. So I think I'm gonna get rid of these ones. So these are pearl combat boots and I can't quite remember where I got them. It was from like a little boutique, but I don't know if they're girly enough for me anymore um, and they were in the depths of my closet but I might put them in the maybe pile and just see what my sister thinks and what her first reaction is of them and also you guys should let me know as well if you think these are just way too like edgy for me but they have pearls so I don't know let me know if you think I should just get rid of them or if you think I should keep them so these are the ultimate snow boots and I got these for Christmas from my boyfriend's parents um, a couple of years back for skiing and I love them so so much and I believe Freddie my love has them as well which makes me love them even more because she is like style goals um, but yeah I'm definitely going to be keeping these ones obviously. These ones are my staple fall boots and they're by Michael Kors and they're really nice quality and fit so well. I love them. So I'm going to be keeping these ones and this is a good little transition into thigh high boots. And these are always fun to try and fit on camera. <laughs> but these ones, I think you already know, they are so stunning and I got them from Lux to Kill. They are dreamy. So I'm definitely keeping these ones. These are another favorite of my thigh high boots and they're like this really pretty mauve pink that's kind of close to like a brown so they go really well with a lot of different colors and I really really love these. So I again have more crushed velvet shoes 
and I think that I'm going to be getting rid of these ones as well even though they're very cute the trend has passed these ones are lovely but they never stay up on my legs probably because my legs are too skinny or something um, but for that reason I just can't bring myself to keep these because I know that if I do decide to wear them I'll regret it instantly because they're always slipping down so I have a few basics here as far as thigh-high boots go um, since they're not really basics but I have a gray pair and a black pair and I'm going to be keeping both of these ones and I have this black pair that is a chunky heel which I also have in brown and I love both of them so much and this is like a really nice dark chocolate brown and these are seriously the most comfortable things ever so I'm going to be keeping both of these and then these ones are actually knee-high boots but they were just in with my thigh-high boots and I really like these and think that they could be styled really cute so I'm going to keep them for this fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video on clearing out my shoe collection and I got so much done and I got rid of so many things I knew that this was definitely overdue. Let me know if you want me to do any other clean out videos or if you have any other suggestions for me and be sure to check out my Instagram and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.